Hello everybody, it's Knight here and today we're on Epic 7 and we're going to have a quick overview on the artifact Noble Oath and it's really because everybody seems to regard this artifact as being trash and it's not. It's used for a specific type of unit to really excel with it and that is someone who scales with defense and the reason that is because if you have if you're a defense scaling unit you're you're meant to build defense and that being that you build defense it makes anybody who hits you extremely weaker okay now the fact that they can't deal real damage to you because you have defense there's only a couple things that can stop you it is somebody who can ignore defense and that's somebody like crow i don't know any others right now but crow is a good person who can ignore defense and, and he, he will mess up a defense scaling unit all right and then the second thing is um debuffs all right so if you get hit with a defense break that is critical that will like ultimately that will destroy any defense scaling unit so if you see anybody with a defense scaling unit just make sure to bring somebody with defense break and if you do that that's going to be light work you'll be able to take them out all right but yeah so debuffs and ignore defense attackers those are the two things that can stop a defense scaling unit easily and this card helps you with both well it helps you with one of those things it, it completely takes away from de debuffs it gives you up to a 50 percent chance at max level you know as your health decreases to increase your defense and your effect resistance all right so let's say you have 50 percent effect resistance already on your character just naturally from your equipment if you get hurt and i think it's like once you get to 50 percent of health it goes up to the max maximum effect i do believe that's how it works and i know that it already has an effect that takes place from when you start like as soon as the match starts it has an effect on it and it, and it increases in the effect of that effect based upon how much health you take from that point on. So that's how it works. But um, I don't know what the starting um, the starting rate is for how much they give you when you first start off without taking any real damage. I don't know. But they do give you something. But all right. Um, now, another thing you can see is that the max enhanced stat is at 988 for the health. Now, that's great for any any defense scaling unit because they really need a ton of health to make up for the fact that they're scaling with defense just to make them even more tanky. But they could have thrown that on simply because this is a knight exclusive card and knights need health over attack. So, you know, you got that too. But Alright, so now that you know what Noble, it, Noble Oath is and what it's used for, I'm going to give you a couple examples of characters you can use them on. Alright, now... One is a character that everybody should have because it was free to play. And if you've been playing since day one, you should still be able to get it. I mean, you should have it. And if you have it, you should be still be able to get it. I think the event's still ongoing. Oh, my goodness. I, I keep missing. I think they need something to light up over here at the top. That's something that will make this a lot a lot easier to notice. Because that little thin yellow line going around is too, it's too thin. Can't really see it. But all right. Kiki Rod. He is the unit that scales with defense all right now he has an aoe attack that blinds and he scales with defense on top of the fact that it gives him a counter attack after he uses it now the counter attack comes when you awaken him to three stars all right so he does not start off with counter attack but he does start off with the decrease uh hit chance and um his second move is a passive defense mode increases defense of the caster by three percent so he stacks defense every time he gets hit so giving more defense to his defense scale and attacks and then if you have knight, no, uh, not knights, but uh, noble oath on, he'll have even more defense. And when he does eventually get hurt, he will have um, effect resistance. You know his effect resistance boosted. All right, and his skill one is attacks with the Gatling gun, which is auto fire. I mean, is okay. Auto fire is the name of his move, but it attacks with the Gatling gun with fifty percent chance to dispel one debuff. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's defense. So yeah. Two defense scale and attacks, and he can use Noble Oath to extreme, extreme benefit. All right. Now there is another one. So Kiki Rod is the free to play friendly one, for, so everybody should have it right now. There is a couple more. If you have the highly talked about specialty unit that you can make right now, Clory. All right. She has a single target defense break oh defense scaling move all right it's just one but i do believe this one move in noble uh noble arms will be great because she doesn't have any other um what is it 
She doesn't have any other moves that scale with anything. So defense is probably going to be one of her highest priorities. And on top of that, she's the unit that she could solo a lot of stuff because of her kit. She has a defense break and a provoke on top of that with the uh, health regen. So she automatically heals herself every turn. And she's tanky because you're going to be building defense on her. She can deal damage because she breaks your defense. So, But on top of breaking your defense, her scale, her attack scales off of her defense. So the tankier you make her, the more defense you can, I mean, more damage she can do. And if she does the provoke and the defense, uh, decrease defense, yeah, it, it could be problems. Especially if she combos that with having counterattack on. If she has counterattack on, yeah, you're going to be in for a rough one on one fight against a Clory. But yeah, Noble Oath works great on Clory. It works great on. Hmm. Where's she at? This is a Moonlight unit that I got. Um, it works great on Phyllis because she also increases uh, her attack based off of her defense. So there are units that could really use Noble Oath. So if you get it, don't don't just scrap it or throw it to the wayside. It is a very usable unit, a very usable artifact for specific units. And if you happen to have those units, you can do a lot of damage with it. So yeah, that's just been my little talk on Noble Oath. I hope everybody understood what I was trying to say, and they're, they're looking through their kit right now for strategies and stuff they can use. But uh, yeah, so that's it. I guess I will see you guys later.